As you can see, I am ready for this conversation and how it's going to take place. So we appreciate Laura for just giving out also just our partners. We appreciate each and every one of you. And the viewers who are here, I'm confident that you're going to stay engaged and there is so much that we are going to learn. I'm looking forward to this conversation of a smart manufacturing company so that we can be able just to go to the next level. Thank you so much. And up next, we want to have the official opening by our guest. This is none other than the director for e-government services national information technology and authority at uganda i cannot just introduce him like that but the best way i can be able to be fitting to introduce our speaker is to just mention the wealth of experience that he brings on the table he serves as a current director e-government services at the national it authority in uganda this man is a strategic it leader with experience in technical and project management and he's got also interest in digital finance and emerging experience technologies he's worked at the national Security Fund as their CIO for five years and executive committee, where he pioneered for innovative electronic channels. How many need us? How many of you would need that? And also through the web and mobile for customer interaction, he led a successful Oracle ERP upgrade and also server virtualization. This is a man who holds a master's degree in leadership development in the Knowledge Society from the University of Mauritius and a business administration degree from the University of Leicester with a bachelor's degree in computer science. He is seasoned and he is ready to engage each and every one of us. Welcome, Collins, and over to you as you take us through the next session thank you good morning to you all um, industry partners uh, trade association uh, leaders ladies and uh, gentlemen um, hello and hi from Uganda Kampala it's a great pleasure to join you today during the second Africa industry 4.0 summit uh, organized by CIO Africa in conjunction with the Africa E-Development Resource uh, Center. I really want to thank uh, you, CIO Africa team and partners for inviting Uganda as well, and more especially the National IT Authority, uh, NITA, to this very important uh, summit. Um, so obviously Africa is well positioned for the future of manufacturing. And I want to say that manufacturing is certainly a key pillar of Africa's economy. Uh, there are immense opportunities for growth uh, in the continent. One of the vehicles to propel development in Africa is a robust manufacturing sector, an industry widely viewed as a path to economic growth on the continent. So indeed, uh, this is why the African Continental Free Trade Area was launched in 2018. It's also important to note that manufacturing holds potential as Africa navigates the path to recovery post uh, pandemic. So experts project that the sector could hit $666.4 billion by 2030. And that's over you know, $200 billion more than it did in 2015. So allow me to say that, well, despite recent challenges uh, or, or challenging global economic conditions, there are still bright spots in Africa's manufacturing sectors, hence the timeliness of today's conversation on Africa's industry uh, 4.0. So with the rise of uh, industry 4.0 and technologies like you know, industrial IoT or industrial uh, internet of things and additive manufacturing, you know, the sector continues to offer exciting opportunities for companies and workers. Uh, Africa has the opportunity to kickstart and accelerate its endeavor in manufacturing, you know, from position of strength owing to availability of human capital and raw materials. So uh, our extensive R&D and innovation ecosystem is complemented by a steady rising skilled workforce. Uh, so on, on the infrastructure front uh, also, both the public and private sector is fast gaining traction. So uh, a more than steadily shaping direction of adopting the factories of the future now rather than later. 
Let me just talk about company-centric approach to accelerate uh, transformation. So of late, most African governments have resolved uh, and indeed committed to uphold partnerships with private sector companies to ensure they are equipped with capabilities to fully reap advanced manufacturing opportunities for their countries. To this effect, there has been immense worker upskilling in the process, training support in areas such as robotics and, and automation. However, I must say there is no one size fits all strategy uh, in helping our companies develop advanced manufacturing capabilities. In fact, we are at different levels of industry 4.0 readiness. It, is, it will be very interesting uh, to learn about some of the companies such as you know, Dangote uh, represented in this summit and many, many others who are following the stride it has made uh, in, in manufacturing. Um, it also delights me to learn that Africa still ranks the eighth largest producer of oil in the world. Uh, there are 90 million SMEs, so small and medium scale enterprises in Africa. You know, 45 of those are in Nigeria. You know, from, from these encouraging numbers, I think um, the whole skills issue is one of the biggest problems that most African countries face in, in trying to get ready for the industry or the I-4.0. Uh, but also to produce people with specialized skills required to work in the I-4.0 uh, uh, space. So that, to me, is one of the biggest challenges we are facing and therefore need to address. Uh, we can't afford to run away from this uh, critical challenge on the mismatch between the skills required by the industry and, and you know, the I 4.0 and the skills uh, being produced by the education uh, system, which results in unemployment or underemployment. Uh, so we should start asking ourselves the hard questions. You know, why should we be educating people for unemployment? Why? So the education needs to prepare Africa for the industry 4.0, because at the moment, quite a number of our countries are still preparing students for the second industrial revolution, which is the production line type of thinking, whereby you just go to school, get a good grade and go to work somewhere else, you know, uh, as, as you can imagine. But, but industry 4.0 needs a shift it needs a paradigm shift that talks to the mindset on, on, and completely on how we do things. Let me just speak to working together to capture industry 4.0 opportunities. To successfully capture industry 4.4 opportunities, we need to go beyond the government's or industrial companies' efforts or even individual efforts. We must work as one community to help each other improve and stay ahead of the curve. It is time we started an industry 4.0 network that brings together researchers, technology and training providers, you know, trade associates and government agencies to support companies across our industrial uh, estates on their I 4.0 journey. So 300 companies have since been introduced to the network and that's really good news. So other efforts to pull the African continent together uh, may include initiating a digital ecosystem of model factories. Uh, this proposed initiative could purpose to digitally connect the smart factories uh, of participating organizations so companies across industry industries can learn industry 4.0 best practices from each other in this era of collaboration. Uh, well, uh, given that the approach to manufacturing of, uh, often differs you know, from industry to industry, this platform may possibly allow companies to discover new approaches to digital manufacturing and explore how they might be applied to their respective manufacturing environments to achieve higher productivity. So it also encourages SMEs to work together and learn from each other. Allow me to say also uh, that many SMEs are also working with investors, yearning to look at different ways to upgrade their capabilities, including taking steps at starting uh, at a start, you know, for, for their I 4.0 journey. So once their companies have built up the requisite capabilities, they can venture overseas to seize new market opportunities. 
So in particular, I, I would like to encourage companies to band together, to leverage each other's strengths and provide a complete suite of solutions to collectively capture a bigger share of this value chain. Probably this is a time to think about SME-led consortia to position for precision smart machining solutions in Africa's future factories. Allow me to conclude here uh, today and this morning to say that the future of manufacturing with Industry 4.0 is an exciting one. By working together, I am confident that we can accelerate the business transformation and level up our, our competitiveness to harness new opportunities in Africa as we trade with other regions across the world. Um, allow me to conclude, therefore, uh, by saying that the future of manufacturing with Industry 4.4 is an exciting one. Uh, by working together, I am confident that we can accelerate the business transformation and level up our competitiveness to harness new opportunities in Africa as we trade with other regions across the world. I look forward to seeing more of such collaborations to grow uh, the advanced uh, manufacturing sector in our continent and I can't therefore wait uh, to review the report that will emanate from this timely summit. I wish you all great deliberations uh, this morning and throughout this uh, summit and I want to say thank you um, all the way from Kampala, Uganda. Thank you. Have you ever wondered how the icons and visionaries of our time have changed the world as you see it today? The answer is simple. It's about exploring the potential in every possibility while always moving forward. So that when preparation meets opportunity, you realize success that makes a real difference. And it all starts by simply saying yes to your next. Your next step as you expand into new geographies. Your next digital innovation leap transforming how your business operates or your next product line that you deliver to the market. That's why at CISPRO, we are committed to enabling our customers to say yes to their next in securing a digital future, one where we win together. As a trusted advisor, this is what inspires and drives us to provide support and guidance at every step of the way to empower you, the manufacturers and distributors who are changing the world. We make things possible by putting you in the best place to get to your next. CISPRO, say yes to next.